my previous tutorial, we have managed to create this roof with its real 3D uh, surface. So if you have not watched this uh, previous tutorial, I recommend that you first watch it and then you practice on it, then you come and follow me on this tutorial. So if you are also new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment and share. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So you go to the floor plan, make sure you change your current layer combination to floor plan like this. So after changing it, uh, in terms of changing the appearance of this uh, floor plan, uh, we have two methods. The first method is by changing each element independently, one by one. Like for example, uh, let me say this one, I've selected this one like this. So I want to change the appearance of this uh, wall here. So you go to the setting dialog and then under the flow plan and section, this one like this. So the cut line, let me, for example, let me change it to this one that I've created uh, in the beginning of this complete two bedroom house series. So this is uh, 0 0.60. Let me change it to this one. And then the uncut line that is the one that is now inside there this is okay so let me click okay you see now as you can see it has now changed also for this one the same thing if i want to change for the uh, windows and doors and still i can select this window i can go to the setting dialog so under the basic window settings so i can click here and then i will go to the floor plan and section so I can be able to manipulate these settings from here like this. If I want the black color, I can manipulate this setting from here like this. Like this. So all of this one, I can just change them to black. All of these ones here. Let me just override this one and then I'll change it to black. Black color. You see? So as you can see, it is really a time consuming method. You see, it can change, but it, it can really consume a lot of your time so let me undo so i'm going to show you the easiest method and more efficient method that is called the graphic override so the graphic override is simply a system that contains uh your elements which are well arranged with different uh, properties so you go to the document and then uh, you come to graphic override and then graphic override combinations. So as you can see, it has a, a graphic override combinations and then the rules that are going to uh, be applied on those elements. So you make sure you have to create a new graphic override combination. So make sure a new combination is selected. For example, I'll say this one, uh, you can just call it any name that you wanted to call it, then okay. So here under the rule sections, I'm going to add several rules, like rules for my walls, for my columns, for my, for my beams, slabs. So let me just use a different name. Let me use this one like this. Let me just keep it all huh? like this. And then new, come down here and then you type column like this this one is for column and then again just type here beam and then add you can call it a, a slab and then for slab let's add the one for our furnitures furniture like this and then for dimensions huh? let's add the one for dimension dimension like this so from here the one for walls let's edit you come to edit rule and then the element type make sure it is a wall that is selected because we are going to override our walls 
and then the line type you check it it's solid is okay the text spent it is you change the pen to 0 0.60 uh, so if you don't know how to create this uh, custom line waves I uh, will provide the link uh, of that video in the description of this uh, video so the fill type yeah it, you need a common brick it's okay so now the foreground pen let's choose this 0 uh, 0 0.13 one or one this one is okay for the fill foreground pen so you click okay and then for columns for columns uh, also check this rule here it's a column then the line type you don't need to override it the, the text paint just choose 0 0.35 and then the fill foreground let's choose uh, this is a let's choose uh, the color you can choose one or one is okay and then the fill type let's choose uh, structural concrete it is not this here is lightweight concrete let's choose structural so you change the fill category and save this one so structural concrete uh, you can find it here like this then okay so for beam is also let's choose this one as the beam and then the pen yeah color one can can work so the fill is the same as the structural concrete and check this one structural concrete uh it's here so now the fill uh, foreground paint you can also choose one one like this and then okay so for a slab for a slab we just need to make sure that the rule here is saying that it's a slab and then the text pen color one is just okay and then just leave it there it is then for furniture it is a uh, it's an object where is it is an object uh, here and then the pen is the most important thing here it is one or one like this and then okay for dimension it's also we choose it as a dimension and then the text pen is this one like this so okay and then okay as you can see instantly you can see a change you see so we forgot uh, the doors and windows still we can go to that same place for the graphic overrides so we can add a rule for a new rule let's call it as door door and then window like this okay so from here now the element type it is a it's a like a door so we need to use just one rule to override two elements so again you add and then you go to the main so you double click on the element type and then you come to here and then it's also select as a window like this so now we are only going to focus on the line uh, or the text pen which is the color one it's just okay and then okay then okay you see now instantly you can change it for those who are having a, a big screen or a desktop you'll find this graphic over right here but for those who are having small screens this one will not be uh, visible to you so for those who are having big screens you can just change it from here if you say no no override you see they remain the way it is then from here the, the graph over that you have created you can select it you see just within one click you can change everything on your floor plan you see so for those who are using small screens you can just go to the document uh graphic override and then you choose this option for no override like this if you want to change it also go back and then you change it like this instantly you see also don't forget to save your file by pressing ctrl s it is very important so that you will not lose this file if you have any question up to this point please let me know in the comment section now let's go to the layout book and then we go to the ground floor plan like this
uh, as you can see, it has updated. So for your case, if it has not updated the graphic override, what you have to do, uh, you select this view port. This one is called the view port. So you right click, then you go to modify source view settings. So under here, under this general option, under the graphic override, make sure that the one that you have just created, it is the one which is selected like this. And then now, as you can see, the drawing uh, name it is saying it is a ground floor. So we need also to overwrite it so that it can be well uh, presentable. So we can call it as our ground floor plan in capital letters like this. And then here, make sure that this one is selected. So you click OK. Just a bonus tip, sometimes, uh, as you can see, on the, on the floor plan, you, you, you see uh, your doors and, win, your, and windows are visible. You see? But sometimes, once you're in the layout book, you'll discover that your windows are not visible. So what you have to do, again, you can just right click, and then you go to modify source view settings. So you go to under the 2D, doc, 2D 3D documents, so floor plan, cut plan. You see now? Make sure that the cut plane height is set to uh, like above the above the window sill height, which is at most cases is uh, one thousand. So you can if it's, it, it depends on the window sill height that you have chosen to use. So if you choose something like five hundred, you have to keep it. Make sure that this cut uh, plane height is above that uh, height that you have used. You see, so you can manipulate this height here. Also, also sometimes it cannot change, so you can also. Come and manipulate this heights here. So it, you click OK and then OK. So what you have to do again, right click and then you update. It will update, you see. So you also don't have to forget to save your file by pressing Ctrl S. So with this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. So we'll meet in my next coming tutorial, which is about on how to create a detail sections so you don't have to miss that tutorial so thank you